Hello, so today's lesson is going to be a John Fahey song called Wine and Roses, based on his 1970, I think, six performance in Germany. So um, just a background before this is that um, my last video was a video where if you followed me, if you threw me a follow on Instagram, then I just took song suggestions. So um, somebody somebody actually suggested this song. Uh, he was randomly selected. I think he was like number 27 or something. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, F. Basil, this is your uh, suggestion. So thanks for the suggestion. Also, your suggestions were really hard. Um, it was this one or two other Leo Cocky songs. So they were like pretty crazy. But uh, but yeah, I figured to just go with this one since I was like a little more familiar with uh, John Fahey's playing. So yeah, um, thanks again for everyone who participated in that. That was really awesome. Um, yeah, so uh, without any further ado, this lesson, uh, yeah, so the tuning is approximately dad fad tuning. So D, A, D, F, A, D. Or at least those intervals. And um, yeah, the song is really all about like different sections, or at least this version of the song. So the first, ver so there are a few different sections. Um, the intro, the first intro, which goes like this. And then he just moves that up, all the way up, and he does that a few times. So that, that I'd call intro number one. Intro number two is where he'd go like this. Um, kind of like this interlude part, but well, let's call that part of... I'll just call that part of intro number two. And then it'll go into the main riff. And then, um, yeah, after the main riff, uh, with with all that, like w basically the normal song. Uh. Um, then he'll go back into the intro number two. into intro number two following like following doing the main song but then he'll go back into doing the song again so like a second time and then by that point the song is almost done after he goes through that main song once then he goes into that little thing like he goes it's hard to like show you guys how to play it um, and then after that he does this thing and then he just plays some harmonics and uh, yeah the song's pretty much over so uh, yeah really the, the sections are intro number one intro number two the main song 
then he goes back into intro number two, then goes back into the main song, then plays that thing. Um, and then he plays harmonics and he's done. So yeah, um, starting with uh, intro number one, he kind of starts by just like playing the open strings, and then he does this spin bend on like the 8th fret of the 2nd string, and it hits the 7th fret of the top string, just a small bend, and then it just hits them open. And then he gets into this chord shape, which is pretty much like basically what it is, 2nd fret of the 4th fourth, of the fourth string, 1st fret of the 3rd string, 2nd fret of the 2nd um, string. It's just like a picking pattern so it's actually not that uh, not too crazy so what you'll do is um, pluck the bottom string open then the top two strings so you're plucking that open top string and second fret of the second string then with your thumb you pluck the first fret of the third string all within that chord shape and then you go back to the top two strings so third string top two strings like that and then you pluck with your thumb the fourth string second fret kind of try and get into that little pattern, get comfortable with it. And then, you'll do that twice for each fret going up. You just move that chord shape one fret up. So that first time he gets, comes up to the 5th fret, the second time he comes up to the 10th fret. So pretend that when we went up. Then he just plucks kind of, once he gets up to the 13th fret and finishes up, then he kind of plucks the 2nd and 3rd strings. Like that. And then that's really all intro number one. Intro number two then comes down here, and the chord shape is slightly different. The, the middle finger is what's different. So it'll be on the fifth fret, the second str second fifth fret second string with your ring finger, um, fourth fret of the third string with your first finger, and then fifth fret of the fifth string with your middle finger. So you can see it's almost the same sh chord shape as before. Except the middle finger is just down one string to the fifth string instead of the fourth string. So you have this. And throughout this intro number two, ignore the bottom string because it isn't used. So you just have these top strings. The D string and the top E string. Um, well, I guess 4th string and 1st string are open. So you have that. 
So to start off, it's um, that fifth string, top, then the top string open, and then you pluck the second and third strings almost together if you can. What I do is I just come up with my pointer finger and it goes through both of them. So, like that. Then you pluck the fifth string twice. And then you kind of go up on the top strings again. string, top string, and then second and third strings. And then finish it with the fifth and top strings. It's almost easier to just hear it. But this one's actually easier. All you do is you just go. It's a little more like a cycle. It makes a little more sense. Um, it's more about like the, um, yeah. And then when you come back up to the fifth fret, you just go up. And then you go up to the seventh, uh, eighth fret. And then back to the seven. And so it'll be. And then you go seven or five, three, five. Like that. So I know that's really uh, a lot, but uh, it'll be like. So that was all intro number two, so then he just repeats it again. And 
that's really it. And then he gets into the, the next section, which is the main song. So the way to do this is, now this is like the easier part, um, probably, where it's just an alternating bass on the bottom string and the, and the uh, fourth string. double stops on the top two strings. So starting with the third fret on the top string, fifth fret of the uh, second string. And then you just descend this fifth fret. Keeping the third fret of the top string constant. So it'll be top string, fifth fret of the second string, then third fret and the fourth fret, third and third, then you do, then you come up on the fifth fret of the top string, third fret of the top string, second fret of the second string, and then you hit the uh, open top string, then third fret of the top string, first fret of the uh, second string, then open, or er, then third fret of the top string, open second string. Third fret of the second string, open top string. Open second string, third fret, top string. So you can see it's just a descending thing. extra added notes like those little things but uh, with the alternating bass then it kind of sounds like this that part it kind of has like a strings are kind of in between the bass notes, apart from the first, I guess. And then again. And then he just repeats that. string, then the 10th, 12th, 10th, 7th, and then bends the 8th fret of the, sec of the second string, and then open top string. And then he kind of does it again. comes down like this, 15th fret, back to the 12th, 10th, um, you can go 5th fret of the top string, back to the 7th, back to the 7th, back to the 10th, and then back down again.
one, intro number two, and the main riff now. Now, if you remember, for the, for like the overview of the song, the next thing that comes is a repeat of intro number two. So here he goes. <laughs> into the main song. on the sixth string and fifth string and then uh, you basically just pluck this the fifth or uh, the second and top string so kind of get without even fretting anything I think this kind of helps just do it all open Seventh, uh, sorry, eighth fret of the bottom string, and then seventh fret, and then third fret, open. this thing which he comes over with the thumb so he plays a bar with with a thumb coming over and that's actually kind of needed because you need the top string open so uh, you can either do that with the with your pointer finger like this which might actually feel better Basically the picking pattern there is um, um, really similar to intro number one except it starts on the it starts on the first fret or first string. Um, actually yeah it, it's actually the same the same picking pattern as intro number one I think. So you come over and you bar the top the the bottom five strings, so only the top string is open and this is all on the eighth fret. So you pluck the bottom string and then you come down on the top three strings. And then you pluck the top string again, then you play the third and fourth strings. So it's like six, one, two, three, six, one, three, four. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's, it's six, one, two, three, six, one, two, four. 
you finish it with the top string. So six, one, two, three, six, one, two, four, one, six, one, two, three, six, one, two, four, one. So. Then it's really the same thing, except now he only bars the bottom four strings and it's the same picking pattern. three strings now, same picking pattern. Now it's the bottom two strings, but it's a different picking pattern. It's Some of the picking patterns are unclear. Probably the most, the hardest one is intro number two, maybe. Uh, we can go over that one more time. So it's. other um two days ago but uh yeah hope hope you enjoyed that lesson and um yeah